Man, I feel good being here. You know what? I thank y'all, man. I'm trying to get my life together. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my life together before my kids get old enough to realize that I'm really not that amazing. Because <laughs> you know when you get older, you start to realize things about your parents that you didn't when you was a kid, or maybe that you just didn't want to accept. Like, as an adult, I've come to the conclusion that my mama was a little loose when I was a kid. Yeah. Don't you judge my mama, okay? It kept our lights on. <laughs> she might have been giving up her goodies, but I bet we never ate in the dark. And I don't know why y'all judge me. Like, some of y'all mamas was a little loose, too. I know I ain't the only person in here who mama had a few friends that came over. Somebody always coming over, spending the night over, staying over. I felt like every three days I was opening the door for some new dude, something to see my mama. He's standing on the front porch with jeans and dress shoes on, with two dragons kissing on his back pocket, <laughs> with a silk shirt unbuttoned to the neighbor, talking about, tell your mama, who this that shit? Who Otis, baby? And why you keep walking into your words like a Temptation or a Commodore? Act like you a 60s R&B singer. Why is your shirt unbuttoned so far? I can see your belly button, it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> My mama come to the door, man, like, get out the way. Hey, Otis. <laughs> and she make Otis give me $3 so I can go to the store. Cause she know the store seven minutes away and that's all Otis old ass need is seven minutes. <laughs> now I get back from the store, Otis sweating like a pig. And my mama standing in the doorway with the money for the basketball uniform all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm the only person this ever happened to. Not to mention, when I left, this heifer was fully dressed. I get back, she got on a house coat and slippers, standing in the doorway smoking a cigarette, talking about, say bye to your uncle Otis. I'm like, that ain't my uncle. If he's my uncle, why ain't he never here with my daddy here? What'd you say? Nothing! <laughs> now, I know what I'm talking about. You come home, you be happy as hell when you come home from school, till you come home and see that door closed, because you know your mama got company. You go walk in the house with your book bag on, skip, and you see that door closed, like, ah! Every time I come on, Mr. Charles, ugly ass over here. You always gotta call them by their first name plus Mr. Mr. Charles, Mr. James, Mr. Everett. Like, now you know you gotta go over here and talk to her through the door and let her know you're home. Cause if you don't let her know you're home, she gonna go off on you. But she finna go off on you for letting her know you're home. So you can't win. I'm at the door like, Ma! Ma! How they got the radio so loud? It can't like this song that much. Ma! She finally hit you like, get away from my door, take your ass down. I just came to let you know I was on to ugly self. What'd you say? Nothing! You get outside, all your friends know what's going on because it happened all the time. They walking up on me like, hey man, you all right? Man, yeah, I'm good. I can't wait till I turn 15, I'm gonna kill this thing. I don't know why 15 feel like the appropriate age to kill the man, screw your mama, but hey, it seemed like it to me. Thank y'all, that's my time. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.